Officially Good Gas Gang. My name's Jamie, welcome back to Officially Gas. Now today, I'm down at Devil Developments with the Litco team and I'm changing the tune on my car. And I know it sounds confusing, but guys, I will make sense of this, trust me. Also, we're mapping in aggressive overrun and other goodies, so stay tuned, this will be real interesting. Let's get it. So guys, yes, as the intro said, I am down at Devil Developments today with the Litco team and my BMW M3. And I know the intro was quite confusing and yes, we are changing the map on my car today. We're in fact changing over to boot mod. Some people call it boot mod, boot mod free, BM free, all the same thing, but basically that is going on the car. And the reason we're doing this is because obviously now it's drawing very close to when the hybrids go on the car. And boot mod is a great platform to be able to tune data log and just do adjustments to the car and the map and everything like that for when the turbos go on. Obviously the Litco map that was on there before, excellent, no problems. And I did say I was gonna do some kind of testing and let you guys know. And to tell the truth, my schedule's been so crazy. I haven't really had time to get into it, but um, I did do like 100 to 200. I'm not great at doing 100 to 200 runs. I only done three and I managed, I think it was a 7.4. I can't remember, but I'll put that time up now so you can see. Compared to when it was stock, I think it was doing like a nine second or around that kind of uh, 100 to 200. So it shave like near on two seconds off like you know what I mean just of a map and the, and, and, and the downpipe so it was amazing I'll put that time up now too just just so you can see like the comparison but as I say yes we, we're gonna be remapping this now I don't think we're gonna be chasing big power I will get in there we'll speak to Ben he'll explain things a lot better than myself but today yes guys we are doing some changes and aggressive overrun is gonna be one of the things that we do to this car which is gonna be sick and what's also gonna be really interesting is Ben from Litco has just fitted the new L640 Litco co-hybrid turbos to his BMW M3 and we are literally here today and we're gonna see the first base run on the dyno to see what these bad boys actually make. I'm not gonna speak too much more let's get in there and see what's going on. Yeah 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 Ay, coming in yeah flex I just wanna win yeah LABB who we running with yeah 223 I'm on 10 again yeah state your name so we have got the car inside and okay. I mean I was trying to explain it the best as I could kind of in my little intro um, to the people at home exactly why we're doing what we're doing today. Yeah. Um, it might be better for you to explain it kind of knowing a little bit more. Uh, it's just a better platform for us to tune on. Um, it's, it's got the login, it's got the GTS transmission flash and, and we can save loads of different maps and you can change them yourself yeah um you yeah. can do it by your phone and you know if yeah. you want to change something it's it's easy for you to do mm -hmm. and all the, the overrun and everything's adjustable yeah you, know, you just it gives you control the, basically the control yeah. to yeah. do what we can do well that's dangerous me yeah. having that control right <laughs> and guys yeah it's, it's boot mode that we are actually using and boot mode is a brand do you want to just talk us through what they actually do because some i'm, I'm using a word i don't really know too much uh, about it myself it's, but uh, it's pro tuning freaks um who make it okay um so we just we've just registered yours now so we've okay. registered your uh, your chassis number okay um so when you buy a license obviously we sell the licenses as do lots of other people yeah um you get one off the shelf map okay. for free. Okay, um, so you've got to pick wisely, yeah? <laughs> you can pick one. Um, okay. So if you go into here, so all the off shelf maps are okay. available. Obviously, it only shows the ones that are available for your car. So all okay. these are available for you. Yep. Uh, you need to choose the one we, that's going to really work best with our car, so, yeah? You know, so for you, it'll be the stage two, yep. uh, 93 octane, which is obviously 98. Uh -huh. UK octane. Yep. Um, and they're doing an aggressive overrun version. Oh, of yeah. That's probably going to be one you want. That's the one I want, so we bro. Choose that one. But okay. you, if you want to, you can buy uh, a map bundle um, okay. online, yep. and then that will give you access to all of them, and you okay. can swap between them. And and, and, and and you were showing me earlier. There is a lot of maps, isn't there? There is there is endless opportunities um, with this too, isn't it? Even if you don't want to go mad, you can have, you could put, you know, the club sport spec map on there, so have four sixties and not even a stage one. And uh -huh. You can play around with it. Yeah, you know, yeah. All yourself. And, and I saw on your car when we were flashing on um, the new hybrid base map, mm -hmm. it's so quick. It yeah, will the, flash the, the a map on one, so quick, right? Um, so this is the first map we're going to flash. So uh -huh. um, 
we're going to my maps now. So yep. you can log in and you can choose between them and you can do it all yourself. Sick. You can't break it. Uh -huh, uh -huh, as long as uh -huh. you follow the instructions, you I can't, can't break, break it. it. It does say you must keep the driver's seatbelt on. Otherwise the ignition turns off halfway through and that's... And that's big problems, right? Bad. <laughs> Real bad. <laughs> that's probably going to take about five minutes or so. Cool. Well, there we go. Anyway, guys, as I said, a little bit of an insight. He explained things a little bit better than you know me and now you kind of know why we're doing what we're doing today um it's kind of yeah it's, it's just it's, it's a better platform to to achieve what we want to achieve with the new hybrids which we'll be going on as far as the hybrids guys it, it is drawing close and i don't mean to try and draw out this journey as much as possible it's just my schedule and also you know getting the hybrids in in in, in the shop basically ready to fit them so we, we we are looking probably i don't know end of the month maybe as soon as end of the month so guys yeah not too long now it could be a, like don't hold me to that it could be a little bit later it might even be a little bit sooner it's all gonna have to tie in with everything but as i say things are things are moving like you know what i mean so yeah yeah flex i just want to win yeah la bb who we running with yeah 2233 i'm on 10 again pump up the action Bitch, I'm active. If he never heard of Ben Dopey. Guys, right now, Ben is setting up his M3, which has just had the L640 hybrids fitted to it. And what we're going to do is basically just dyno it and see what it gets. What he's done is obviously he's fit the turbos, he's done the hub crank, and he's going to do like a base run. So he's using boot mode 3 or boot mod or BM3 or whatever people call it. Yeah, we're just going to see what it makes. So this is an exciting time, guys, because I'm next in line for these turbos. So uh, I'll be interested to see what this makes. Let's get into it. Man. What's the uh, what's the uh, diagnosis, man? On a stage two map, yep. so without changing it, so it's the off the shelf boot mode stage two, 1.45 bar, mm -hmm. uh, 20 psi, it's 600 foot pounds, 600 horsepower. So. 600, so that's just on the stage two. Just on the stage two. We haven't tuned it yet. <laughs> uh, we did put the hybrid map on it, the off the shelf hybrid uh -huh. map, um, and it's making 680 foot pounds. 680. We can't get grip. It's just spinning, so yeah. So we're having to try fifth, you know, even though we're making 600 horsepower, we're in fifth gear. So we're reaching the speed limit of the dyno, so we can't actually do a full run. We can only get to about six, seven. Uh -huh. um, so we will need to take this to a dyno jet. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But 650. It's going to be easy, uh, right? 23 PSI, 24 PSI, I think we'll be there. That's, that's um, crazy. That's crazy. It's, it's a nice looking graph. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's just on a stage two map. That's crazy. We that's make crazy. 600 foot pounds at three and a half thousand RPM, so it's not it's not laggy at all. No? And these are just the baby hybrids. Uh -huh. um, these are literally the entry level, aren't these, they? These are the tiny, tiny hybrids. <laughs> they're, 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 you know, they're substantially bigger than stock. But yep. They're not, you know, like some of the pure stage two cars. That you know, they will the pure stage twos will make a lot more horsepower mm -hmm. than these. Yep, but a lot later. But it'll make it a little bit later. Yep. Um, so it depends on what you want. Okay. But this will drive like a stock M3, that's yeah. kind of what I want. Got you. Um, Got you. I don't want it to change how it drives, I like how it drives. Of course, yeah. Um, but I just want, you know, the idea is to make a turbo that we can, you know, sell to replace the stock and it not be too far away from what the stock car was like. So if your turbos have gone bad, like yours, mm. you don't have to go with the pure stage twos. Yep. You know, you Which don't, is a major you don't want to go yep. that far, yep. then maybe this is the... Um, you know, the answer, yeah. a nice in-between yeah. place to be. That's, that's the idea of it. They're not particularly expensive either. Uh, okay. They're 3,000 pounds outright. Okay, wow. If you want brand new, good, so the brand new units from BMW mm -hmm. uh, and then made into hybrids. Uh, all we do in exchange. And they start okay. from about 1,600 quid. That is dirt cheap, man. Yeah, it's quite bad, is it? <laughs> that's it's crazy. Like exchange, 1,600 yeah, pounds. It's not that bad. Guys, are you hearing this? This is, uh, yeah. It's, it's an bad. affordable, you know, it's upgrade, isn't it? Bad, is it? I mean, my car is stock. Uh -huh. there, I've got decat down pipes, that's it. I've still got the secondary cats, I've still got stock intercooler, I've got stock air boxes, it's all yeah. stock. I have got some bigger inlets on the way. Okay. Because um, where the where they've been enlarged, the stock inlet's actually smaller. Okay. Yeah, much like the MQB stuff that little well, but uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, I've got some of them on the way, some okay. big ones, so I'm hoping that will help. Improve it. But yeah. 
as a starting point. That's yeah, it's good. good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, quite exciting. Yeah. Wicked. Yeah. Um, yeah sick. Not sick. too bad to fit either, really. Yeah, you bashed yeah, it out pretty quick, didn't you? Uh, I've done the crank up upgrade as well, just the capture plate. Uh huh. Um, I know you probably want to do the whole thing. Really? Do you, do you have to? I've heard a lot of people running big power mm. with just that capture plate. It's like a drawer, isn't it? I think. Yeah. yeah. yeah You're always yeah. going to get people to say you need everything. Or of course. You, people are going to say mine's been fine for 100,000 miles yeah. and I've done nothing. Exactly. You know, exactly. The truth's probably somewhere in the middle, isn't it? So, yeah, no, fair play. Um, but I think if I put the capture plate in there, if it spins, it won't go very far. Okay. That's just, just move a little bit. That's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> so, you know, it, without it, like, the bolt backs out. It, you know, yeah, it's game over. Yeah. Bust up valves, but you know, I'm hoping that yep. with the capture plate, if it does, it will just a little bit. Just a little bit. No, I'll just retime it and you know address it and there. go again. That's what I'm and this is another thing. I don't know if we touched on it, but um, you are as Litco manufacturing these capture plates now too, right? Uh, it's a, yeah, it's a yeah, package yeah, kind of yeah. thing that you this will be doing. This one isn't. This is a Vargas turbo jobby. Okay. Um, but we are having our own made. Okay. Um, they're pretty basic things, but um, everyone says they're really hard to fit. Uh, not down here at Litco, mate. No, I mean, <laughs> quite like four hours. It's like but you can see it. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think all in all, there's it's about ten hours labour. Okay. Um, to fit your turbos. Okay. Uh, so it's 840 quid to have fit your turbos and a capture plate. Okay, okay, so interesting. About two and a half grand for the turbos and fitting uh -huh. is, is reasonable. Yeah, so very reasonable. Um, yeah, quite slight driving. A bit wet though. Yeah, that's the only thing. Oh well, should be fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool, man. So Wicked. Starting point. Though. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So guys, we've actually now flashed on the new map from Boot Mod. Yeah, we've got it on the dyno, as you see. I think we've got the pops and bangs and things like that. We'll see. It's strapped onto the dyno. We are going to run it on the dyno. Now, when it comes to like power figures, I honestly don't care what it makes. We think it will make around what it made before with the Litco map, around 533. Guys, if it makes less, don't really care. If it makes a little bit more, it's all good. But to tell the truth, as I say, this is kind of just a step we're taking in preparation for these hybrids to be fitted. We're gonna let it warm up a little bit and then we're gonna run this dyno, see what it makes. results are in 495 brake horsepower I think it made which is a little bit obviously it's a little bit disheartening but at the same time I don't really care as I say if it made lower it is what it is it's in and around 500 brake you probably saw a lot of smoke too um, that was actually wheel spinning and we did exceed the max speed on the dyno so it might have made a little bit more had it not been wheel spinning but anyway who cares also some of that smoke was probably my turbos because <laughs> my turbos have had it and also what they found is there was a little bit of a misfire too because apparently the bm3 the boot mode map runs a little bit higher psi it's just an off-the-shelf map this is nothing that we've played with because you can fully configure the maps on boot mode it's just one of their off-the-shelf ones that have went on but apparently the, the um the uh, boost is slightly higher on it so what we found is there seems to be a little bit of a misfire and it's down to my spark plugs so obviously they're gonna have to be replaced too it's a little bit of a it's not a major job but you've got to strip quite a lot down to do the spark plug so i'll probably wait until we actually do the turbos to do the spark plugs as i say the turbos are coming soon guys so there you go guys obviously yeah we got the uh we got the pops and bangs now like it sounds epic don't get me wrong and i'm sure it still flies also we've mapped in the gts gearbox flash <laughs> Shots. 
<laughs> you hearing them pops and bangs, obviously you can't pick up much speed right here, but guys, sounds sick. Listen. <laughs> Letting off shots. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it here. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you go back and check some other content out too. I know you like that. Stay tuned for these turbos, they're coming, I promise, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Safe.